For those looking to buy or sell Madden Ultimate Team Coins, check out the Mud Store. They have cheap prices, fast delivery, and great customer service. Use code TEXAS at checkout for a 10% discount. Yo, it's Graham Bias, your boy Texas, and I'm doing some live comming now for the salary cap event. As you guys can see our record, we are 15 and 12. We're not the greatest, man. We're struggling over here. I was using the gold team for pretty much all these games for four-star gold, which is not bad. 15 games is kind of impressive to win, but zero championships. We got 70 total touchdowns, 35 or 70 total. Yeah, 70 total, 35, 30. What? Huh? I guess some must be defensive. Yeah. So we got 70 total, 35 passing for rushing three defensive we got 25 sacks and 39 interceptions so that's not terrible we're just not translating it over to win so i decided to go ahead and scrap the gold gems team that team's actually fun to play with it's just it just ain't working man so i'm gonna go ahead and try something different right now and i constructed i think one of the better teams i've been playing with over here in this game so here is what it looks like right now offensive line is pretty much set nate solder norwell hudson Greco and Johnson are my offensive line. Travis Kelsey, Taylor Thompson. Taylor Thompson has good speed, so if I need him to go out for a pass, he can. Plus, he has 80 run block. That is why he's there. James Jones is my number one receiver. Originally, I was going to be playing the cover vote Odell Beckham at this position, but upon further compare, the release is actually pretty huge over here in draft champions because for one, everybody runs man press. If people get in this situation, they come out here running three man, three quarters man contain, all that nonsense. So even though, why didn't they bring up the pairs to Odell Beckham? Looking at Jordy Nelson, that's not a fair comparison, obviously. But here he is, like, Odell Beckham has a spec catch, obviously. He has the same speed. And I'm just looking at everything else to catch in traffic with the release. I think James Jones is going to be out a lot more. Now, I probably should start this guy at number two, Doug Ball to number one. But... The way I run the ball is I run to the side of my number two receiver, so that is why Doug Baldwin is out here at number two, at Jeff Janis number three, and of course, Darwin Beckham at number four. Now, I could bring in some more speed at this position, and I may well do that once I win or lose this next season. So, offense looking mighty complete right now. Derrick Henry, our quarterback, our backup is going to be this Darquois. I don't know why he's so cheap when you compare him to a lot of the halfbacks in this game. Like, he brings a pretty good price like here he is compared to robert turbin robert turbin's 28 salary cap and maybe because he's gold why do you keep doing this ea let me compare who i want to compare to so here's turbin like you're seeing the comparison right here there's a few stats favorably in turbin's favor probably some catching i would assume as well but no just, yeah the catching might put him over the top but i'm like all right if i need a big back that can come in to spell derrick henry he's gonna be the guy i go with so that's why i'm using the dark quad i've seen somebody using before he ate me alive so that is why I'm using Dark Wall. Colt McCoy is our quarterback. I was going to pick up John Elway, and I still may. He's like 50,000 coins right now, and I'm going to go ahead and chance it out with Colt McCoy this season see how it plays out. Tobert is our halfback because I can just sub in Taylor Thompson. I feel like I need some blocking. Plus, I want more trucking on the field because nobody in this game can tackle. Here is the defense right now, and we are switching over to a 3-4. Reason being, I cannot stop the run over here in this game. 4-3 is cool, but if a guy is out here out of the shotgun formation and he's out here with four wide with a halfback in the backfield, you come out in dime and all that resolves as your opponent basically running the ball down your throat. So to combat that, I'm coming out here in a 3-4 to help prevent at least my opponent from doing that to me. And the team we got constructed should do well at stopping the run. The way I have this defense constructed is I can go ahead and lower salary caps at certain positions and allocate those funds elsewhere. So right now, most of my salary cap is tied up in my linebacking core, but if I really wanted to, I can bring in Jalen Smith, who is a 38 salary cap, 20 points less than Deion Buchanan, and put those points on the defensive line if my defensive line that I have constructed does not do anything for me. Same thing with every other position. If Jordan Poirier, who is a pretty damn good card, if he does not suffice my needs, I'll just go ahead and put somebody else in that position and put those points elsewhere. So the defense I have is pretty amazing, and I'm hoping it can stop the run. I skimped out on some positions, like you guys see for the line is silver guys, but these guys got block shit, man. We got Terrell Troop. We got this guy who has 84 block shit. He's low salary cap. That's why he's there. We got Eric Armstrong who has 91 block shit. In the three four, all I need these guys to do is just clog the middle, man. Just clog up those gaps, and hopefully these guys do so and allow. Quan Alexander and Brandon to come in off the edge if I blitz them. And if I decide to have those guys back in coverage, they can do so as well with their great zone coverage rating. So I'm liking what I have on this team so far. Cornerbacks got Sherman, we got Trey Waynes, DRC, and Jimmy Smith. Of course, Jimmy Waters are strong safety. He's really good. Like I like this card a lot. I had 
his rising star when it first came out. He was better than the 93 Eric Berry that dropped. What was it? The uh, the BCA Eric Berry. He had 99 strength, obviously, all that jazz, but he just wasn't like crazy good. So I'm liking the team I have right now. And if my linebacking core plays well, I can go ahead and just try Mark Barron. If he plays well, go ahead and try Jalen Smith. If he doesn't, go back to Mark Barron and just go ahead and use it from there. So that is the defense we have constructed right now. And on the specialist, we have the Bronze McManus, 97 kick power. I'm sacrificing two kick power, but I'm making up for it in plus eight salary cap or negative eight salary cap, which I'll take. We got Pat O'Donnell, who has 93 kick power, and he also has 84 speed. And then we have Corey Grant. So now we have three halfbacks, and we have a chance to run some Wildcat, get some plays downfield. And if we can't do any of that on offense and we get stopped, this defense should come to the rescue. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get to a game. I'm gonna need you guys to excuse me for a quick second. I have not ran a 3-4 in a long time, so I am still getting used to the plays right now. You gonna throw this drag? You gonna throw this? Mm, I don't know if I deflected it or if I dropped the pick. Don't know what happened there, but I'm pretty sure he got lucky. What's going on with this nonsense, man? What you doing? What you doing? Give me that. Wait a minute. Sherman. Sherman, you looked at the ball. Sherman, you looked at the ball. Why didn't you go for the pick? These canned animations, man. They got to go. So I went out and bought the 3-4 playbook. I might sell it back. There's no mid-blitz in this playbook. There's no none of that nonsense. So I can't run that like I want to, unfortunately. So we'll just go ahead and keep trying what we're doing right now. Hopefully get some success on this dude who's taking his time right now. Wow. Trey Wayne's got beat badly. He got beat badly. All right, so man coverage is not the way to go right now. He's running man beaters. All right, let's hit some cover four right now. Send some cover four. Deion Buchanan, UCB is Hades. He'll play that zone over there. I need you to. I'm going to use a Trey Waynes. He's going to get pancake. Oh, okay, he got trucked. He got trucked. <laughs> I took get pancake, but the other thing happened there. It's all good to mention. It's a bit rusty, yo. It's just a bit rusty. We're going to get this W, though. I'll tell you that right now. I'm going to go ahead and use their Buchanan over here. I know the, I know the corner route or the C route is coming right now. What you got what you got man what you got sack him oh he fumbled let's go let's go you got the damn throw it to the dirt but luckily for us it's a fumble now i'm about to get embarrassed on second and 29 what what's he about to run what's he about to run to get this first there's gonna be something not it's gonna be some nonsense too like what's he about to run to get this first let's just go ahead and play some man what's he about to do real quick let's play some man real quick he loves this formation, too. Everybody's running this formation as well. That's what we got right now. I'm blocking the C route. Is this going to be a quick slant to Todd Gurley? No, it's a will route. Oh, my God. Another drop pick. It's all good, though, man. Held this guy to a field goal, and now it's time to go ahead and run a ball down this dude's throat. Except for I did not hit the hole. <laughs> Looks like he's out here in some cover, too. This may be man with the safety coming across the middle. He's using golf defensive line. That's going to be who he's using. Rushing two people. I mean, he's going to do that. I got I got Colt McCoy. Let's go ahead and take this first down, man. You're going to go to play some of that two-man pass rush stuff. So that's the one thing people do over here in draft chain, which is hilarious to me. They just basically hope and pray they can get block shit because everybody's out here using shitty offensive lines. But I'm not that dude. Like I'm going to go ahead and use a good offensive line because I'm not trying to get sacked the entire time. So if that involves me having to use good overall players, I will. Oh, oh my God. That's the first throw with Colt McCoy, and he completely misses an open receiver. All right, so not starting out on a good note. He has good throw deep as well, man. That's kind of shocking. Like, that's kind of shocking right there. Pancake. Truck him. Truck Derrick Handy. Tuck the ball, man. Tuck the ball. Let's keep running the ball, man. Let's keep pounding the rock on this clown. Let's go to keep doing it. See if you can come out here just blitz. Oh, that was holding. That was holding. We got lucky there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That was a hold if I've ever seen one. Oh, my God. <laughs> my dude, like, went around and wrapped his arms around his waist like he was trying to fill him up or something. That was uh, that was kind of ridiculous right there. I'll tell you that right now. It's Black Henry. Oh, God, I got sacked. I blocked Henry, but I guess he decided not to block anybody. All right, man coverage once again. Let's try to get Doug Baldwin open or maybe James Jones. Yeah, let's go. Oh, let's go. It's kind of amazing to use these good receivers, man. Before, I was throwing picks. 
I was throwing picks on the C routes. Like you don't, you know how hard that is. Like you know how hard that is to do. Turn up the field. What are you really though, Kelsey? Kelsey is making me mad. He's not blocking it. He's not doing any receiver type thing. But playing with gold Deshaun Jackson and gold Keenan Allen was cool. I just was not able to catch like run C routes. Like it was, it was, it was absurd what was happening. Like I felt like I was playing against like the CPU the entire time because those guys, like, C routes, like everybody knows in this game. Everybody, I'm over here rambling and just stammering right now. But we all know how to beat man coverage. We all know how to beat zone coverage. You know how you all know the tricks of the trade over here in this game. But for some reason, with those gold players, they just weren't either running the routes properly or some nonsense was happening, which then allowed our opponents to you know. Pick, pick me off. Like, <laughs> you don't got sneak deep, pimp. Oh, all right. So we know what our opponent is about, yo. It's kind of interesting. Like, I thought he had an ebook, but I guess he just goes to all the familiar. All right, this is kind of dumb because now I got to do certain things in this game to make it work. Jimmy Smith is not moving over on his guy. I mean, this is, oh my God. Our opponent's smart, man. He's very, very smart. So I'm going to play some zone coverage. I'm going to play some zone, man. He's out here trying to get my user off where he wants to go with the ball. And my guy is out here live on the wrong people, so therefore it makes it easy to get the ball out of field. Some things is going on right now, but it's all good, though. The glitchy out route's not there. I'll tell you that right now. Oh! Oh, Bradham. If that was a heat seek, would have got him, though. If he comes back out in this, I'm pretty sure I know what's going to come. So it's probably going to be the C route or it's going to be the post route. And I'm hoping that Quan Alexander can play the guy. I'm putting him drop. Yeah. Hopefully Quan Alexander plays that. No, you're doing this. Oh, drop that nonsense with the possession catch. What are you doing? We're trying to cheese and stuff. Possession catching on shit like that. Drop that, pimp. Let's see if he goes back to that. Oh, now he's out here in this. Let's do that right there. I got two dudes in the same vicinity. Oh, let's go, DRC. Let's go, DRC. Look at DRC out. This DRC is a glitch. This DRC is a glitch. We had three defensive touchdowns. Make that foe. Make that foe. Let's, let's go. That's what I'm talking about right there. DRC. I don't know why he's so good. Like, I'm about to go check out the Mutt Rank website and see what DRC's actual overall is. All right, guys, out here to start of the third quarter. Squared to run the ball down this dude's throat. Shoulder. Oh, God, going low? Taylor Mays out here tackling. But, yo, it's kind of kind of amazing. It's kind of amazing that in 27 games I played of this salary cap event, I had... <laughs> this is all size right there. Let's get this free first. I had... Oh, let's, oh, oh, break. Shoulder down. Oh, I had three... Defense touchdowns, three, which is, that's okay, I guess, but three defensive touchdowns in 27 games is just not me. And now with the new team, we got one already. So I think we're going to shatter that record. I'm pretty sure if I play 27 more games, we're probably going to crush that record. So let's keep pounding the ball with this Derrick Henry. Oh, Tolbert! Tolbert, you can't get, oh, Tolbert, you can't get confused right there. I'm going to bring in Taylor Thompson right quick. And let's, you know, let's... Let's bring in the uh, the the, the Darqua guy. Let's bring him in. Let's see what he can do real quick. Oh, that was a good game right there. Tober got his block, but eh, fuck him. Let's go ahead and sub somebody else that can do do the same thing. Let's go ahead and sub somebody. Oh, Darqua's slow. He's slow. He does not have the excel that Henry does. I'll tell you that. But at the same damn time, this is a guy you don't run to the outside with. I got Corey Grant for that reason. Darqua is a guy you run in between the tackles with. Because he has that trucking, 85 trucking, man. 90 speed, we'll take it. Let's run this glitchy out route. I'm probably gonna get picked off on here. Let me see, let's see, let's see. No, no, he ran, he ran commit. <laughs> oh, he ran commit me. He ran commit me. Let's go. Yo, let's go, man. We're about to go on a massive winning streak. This is what's about to happen, man. We're about to go on a massive winning streak. So if you guys have not already thumbs up the video, do so to go ahead and get in before the win streak starts. Like, I'm gonna call it, we're gonna win at least six games. Like that that may be a, a not a massive win streak to you, but to me, when I only go in four, that is a massive win streak. Like we're gonna go through this season easily. Once again, we come away with another field goal on our drive, and now it is time to go to prevent this guy from running what he wants to do, which is C routes, corner routes, all the man shit. Get him! Oh, one-on-one -on -one coverage. Let's go, Sherman. Finally, Sherman comes up with the pick. He's been at it all day. 
and finally he gets the pick. I'm surprised he didn't get beat deep there because Sherman was going up against Mike Evans, and I think Mike Evans is faster than him at this point. No, dude, like, you weren't going to win the game after you ran commit me. Like, why would you stay? Like, this is, like, why, man? Like, don't leave now. Ah, uh, it's all good, though. But a was massive. <laughs> I can't even speak ever. That's all good. A massive win streak is going to occur pretty soon. So if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and stay tuned in for all the upcoming excitement. I'm the Texas boy. If you guys enjoyed the video, please thumbs it up. And I'll catch y'all mother bleepers in the next one, which will probably be right after this one. Peace.